Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is the final day that we are finishing the kitchen completely done. I cannot wait to share with you how it turns out. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Lauren Nicholson and I am a mom of four. I love to do all things cooking, cleaning, and decorating and I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and if you're returning, it is so great to see you. Okay guys, let's jump into this beautiful morning. So for the last couple months, I have been doing different games every morning to slow my mind down while I drink my coffee. If you guys are new to my channel, I always have this problem where I race around all morning, my coffee gets cold, and I kind of start my day frantic. So I have been playing, I love, first and foremost, I love card games. I love Sudoku, I love number games. Like if there's any game I love, I love a good mystery, and I love card games. If you guys haven't heard of Phase 10, Phase 10 is a mobile game that helps you relax, and it's kind of got like a 40-year-old class classic rummy card game vibe to it. I love the different um, avatars on here and all the different personalities, but it's the second best selling card game of Mattel, but now you can play it online. And Phase 10 already has 20 million players around the world and 80% of them are women. So I tried this game, I wanna say about three months ago and I'm totally hooked. If you guys wanna to play together, I will put my handle down below. We could play cards together, but this has kind of been one of my favorite ways to start my day, just relaxing, kind of using my mind in a different way but also kind of having a nice fun challenge there's no time limit to play phase 10 you can stop anytime you want and it will not affect the game progress you can restart previous games which is always nice because if like a kid gets up early I can stop the game and pick up where I left off and if you're just kind of like waiting, maybe if you're in the doctor's office or somewhere, hopefully you're not in the doctor's office, but wherever you are, if you guys want to play a game, it's it can they take a couple, like I'd say like 60 seconds per game, depends on how fast you are. Um, but I really like that I can pick it up anytime and I just love the strategy in it. If you guys are interested in playing it, I will link it in the descriptions down below. It's one of my favorite games. I'll also put my handle, come meet me over there and let's play it together and start our day in a nice calm way helps our mind stay sharp, and also gives us a little bit of fun before we start our day. Okay guys, today is finally the day we are going to finish the kitchen. So here is how everything looks. The counters have cured. They are so beautiful. Our veining turned out perfect. Everything turned out really beautiful. I know it's bright in here, sorry. It's a little hard to see. But here's how this all turned out. We did get one little fly that flew in here in the night. We named him Hornitos. And um, whatever, he's part of the family now, so it's all good. And then here's how the other veining turned out. Just looks great. Some of the things that did happen during this project, we did um, have some of the paint peeled off from the um, epoxy, which does happen, so be prepared for that. That's why I didn't do any of this touch up if you guys recall in the video, like the first or second video, remember I had this, I decided not to finish that until this whole project was done. So we have lots of little, I need to do some caulking in here. And like, there's a lot of little things like that. The other thing I noticed was like under here, there's a lot of areas that could really benefit from another coat. So I did order another two gallons of Beyond Paint. See, like that's, we need to paint that. And then up there. So there's still lots to do here. Um, I saw this here yesterday. So today we are going to finish painting this house. We're gonna go cabinet by cabinet. And here it's a little bit yellow. So again, some bleeding happens from time to time. That's why you wanna give it, you know, enough time to um, fully dry before you finish your very last coat. But. Here's how this veining turned out. So shiny and pretty. Um, we're gonna recock this sink. It needed to be done anyway. Here's some other mistakes we made. Um, this is uh, epoxy that kind of like dripped. But we're gonna take this out eventually anyway, so not like a total loss. But again, these are just little mistakes that we made that I'm showing for you guys. Uh, so hopefully you don't make the same mistakes we did. But anyway, we have a lot to do today, so to recap, first thing we're gonna do is paint, finish painting everything, touch up the island, touch up all the cabinets. Then we are going to put the hardware on. I am going to caulk all of this. So everywhere, here, 
this will all get caulking. Make it look nice and clean, um, especially like in these areas here. I wanna get those nice and cleaned up. And then we are going to put the um, plates back on. I asked my husband to take all this off, but I guess he didn't. So <clears throat> another thing you wanna remember is when you are letting the epoxy dry, I was really sick if you guys don't recall, but I asked my husband to go around and make sure he took all this off because it will actually epoxy to your um, to your uh, counters. If Well, this has a reveal here, so I mean, it'll be fine, but do you see that piece of tape like that? I'm never coming off. <laughs> um, I'll try to see if I can't scrape that off or use something to clean this up, but I mean, again, not an end of the world for such an inexpensive um, project, I think I'll take whatever I can get. So here is what we got going on today, and I got my work cut out for me, so I'm going to get to work. We also need to touch up there, too. If you guys are just catching these videos, I will link this series down below. I think I have four. We um, completely redid our kitchen, pretty much just using paint uh, and a couple like some new knobs and whatnot, but really nothing else. And I used a product called Beyond Paint. I'm gonna link the exact one I used down below and the colors I used, the island um, we used in a color called licorice and everything else is bright white, but this paint is incredible. There's no sanding, stripping, or any priming, you just put it right over top. I will, um, in those other videos, you will see that these cabinets were all original oak cabinets and they were beautiful, but they were 20 years old and they definitely needed to be updated. And we're not ready to totally gut this kitchen, but I didn't wanna live with green countertops um, for the next year or so until we decide how we're gonna actually gut this kitchen and kind of redo it. We moved about, uh, I want to say three months ago into this house and we're going to renovate the entire thing and we're going to take you guys along with us. So if you would like to subscribe and see all kinds of DIY and renovation projects, I would love it. Um, we will also be doing obviously decorate and um, cook with me videos all year long. I'm going to try to do one new recipe every single week. Seems pretty easy to do. It's about how many I did last year. Um, so if you guys are looking for some great dinner options, you can definitely subscribe for that as well. And then we'll also be doing some organizational videos. The one thing I want to do in 2023 is completely organize this house. I feel like the best way to organize a house is think of it in terms of every single thing that you are needing, whether it's tape or socks or shoes has a place in the house. And since we've moved, everything doesn't really have a place yet. So we're going to be working on that together starting January, 2023. So definitely subscribe if you guys want to check that out. But all I'm going to do right now is just go through here and touch up on all the paint. It's been a week. Everything has really dried and any of the bleeding that has come through this paint, I can now touch up and get it all perfect before we start putting our hardware on. Tell me in the comments down below if you guys have been watching the transformation and what do you think? As you saw in previous videos, we did a countertop epoxy kit. And when you do that, you need to actually remove all of your um, caulking in here, and then you're gonna have to reapply it. So I will highly recommend making sure you do that. Otherwise the epoxy will actually bubble off your um, 
this caulking. So I am gonna actually be reapplying some new stuff since this countertop is white. I decided to go with white instead of clear, which is what we had prior. And I'm just gonna try to make it as smooth as possible. Don't feel too intimidated with the caulking. I know it can be a lot sometimes, but you can put it all on. If it doesn't work or you don't like the way that it lays or dries, you can go ahead and just use a razor and just scrape it right off. It's really easy to use. I'm using a highly kitchen durable waterproof uh, caulking and it's and it worked out great. So I highly recommend that. If you are gonna check the links down below for my um, the kits for the countertops, they're $200 per kit and I use two for our kitchen. Uh, you will want to um, get this particular type of caulking as well. I will link everything down below if you guys are looking for it, but I'm gonna go ahead and caulk everything before we get going on all our hardware. I'm going to put on some knobs. I got three different kinds that I liked and we are going to try each of them and decide which one to go with. I did kind of a squared modern look which I thought would go well. I thought the black with this gold accent could be a beautiful tie-in from this. So we'll take a look at that. And then what I like about this particular one is when you have these shorter ones, they can tend to look a little bit small, especially if you have a larger drawer. So if you go with one that has elongated ends, it can give it the effect of being a much longer pull. Last thing I want to do is add some beautiful new plates to the wall here. The ones that I took down were originals and they were just old and kind of discolored so I decided to get some new ones and this is how the kitchen turned out. I think it looks amazing. I mean look at the way it used to look and now it is so bright in here and beautiful and just feels like a gorgeous refresh for a new year. This countertop turned out completely beautiful. I am absolutely so impressed with this brand, with this material, of so shiny it is. It's extremely durable. Um, you definitely want to read the instructions. You can't put like hot, super hot things over 250 degrees on here and we definitely wouldn't want to cut on here. Just treat it the way you would treat any other marble, but I am so impressed with how this turned out. As scared as I was to do this, I am so happy we did. So I'm gonna take you guys on a little tour and I will see you at the end of this video.
Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Definitely join me on phase 10 if you guys wanna play some cards and enjoy a little bit of relaxation. And I just really appreciate you guys watching our kitchen complete makeover. I will be doing a very simple tutorial video that will be coming up on my channel too. So if in the new year you decide to do the same thing, it will be a step-by-step -step in all the things you need to get your kitchen as beautiful as mine. Okay guys, I will see you in the next video real soon. Bye.